Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about simple ground to print all even or slash odd numbers from 1 to n. Now I am going to give a detailed description of this program. So first one is has include stdio.h. So this is a, a standard input output header files. Uh, so printf and scanf function or uh, definition is written inside of has include stdio.h header files. And about to uh, has include conj.h console input output header file so right here I am using uh, clear screen function and uh, get ch function so this two function definition written inside of coni.h header file now if you uh, compile the code then first control comes to our main method here after that we go inside uh, there I take uh, to integer tab variable i and n and uh, after I used clear screen. So clear screen is used to terminate previous output screen. And here after uh, print a function to print water when or uh, double cut. So right here uh, this will print print to uh, odd number. And now next to a scanner function. So a scanner I use percent because so uh, this is a uh, n is integer time. And uh, ampersand n so some location that will store the value of n so what i'm going to give so i'm going to give n value 5 so uh, at some uh, particular address like 1001 so that 1001 address the value 5 will store now here after that will go down so i will start from 1 and uh, that will check the condition 1 less than equal to 5 that's true then that will go inside also right here i mod 2 i value is now 1 mod 2 so 2 cannot be do, uh, divide or uh, 1 so modulus won't be 0 uh, so uh, the condition is true then that will go inside that will print percent I am using for uh, because uh, 
Arduino for integer and uh, slash n for new line. So in new line that will display i value. So i value is now 1. After that will out from if and again that will go increase the value of i. i that time become 2. So at here that will check the condition 2 less than 5 that's true then that will go inside. Uh, so at here uh, i value is now 2. So 2 mod 2 value is 0. Remainder or uh, give or uh, 0. Uh, so condition is false. So that will not go inside and again that will increase the value of i. So i become 3. Uh, so i become 3. Check the condition 3 less than 5. That's true. Then that will go inside if 3 mod 2. So 3 mod 2 or uh, remainder equal to 1. So that will check 3 mod 2 double e not equal to 0. So that's true. Then that will go inside printer percent to integer new line that will display i. So i value is now 3 this time. So that will display again that will go in and increase the value of i. i now become 4 and uh, 4 and check the condition 4 less than 5. That's true. Then that will go inside if 4 mod 2 or uh, not equal to 0. So 4 mod 2 or uh, 4 mod 2. So that will uh, definitely this uh, will become 0. Uh, so condition is uh, not true then that will not go inside. Increase the value of i. Uh, so i become 5. Check the condition 5 less than 5. That's true. Then that will go inside. 5 mod 2 or uh, 5 mod 2 remainder equal to 1 condition true then that will go inside print percent and n new line that will print the value of i so i will print 5 again that will out from if for condition and increase the value of i so i become 6 check the condition 6 less than equal to 5 condition not true or uh, condition is not true then that will out from 4 so control comes to get CH function. So that will take one output. The use of get CH function that will take one output. Oh sorry, that will take one input from keyword and terminate the output screen. So this is the way of execution of uh, this program. I am going to discuss second method to print odd number. So this all are same. I am going to start from for loop. So I have for i equal to 1 and i less than equal to n i plus equal to 2. So i plus uh, equal to 2 means i equal to i plus so uh, first uh, I'm going to give uh, n value so n value I'm giving 5 so that we check the condition i value is now 1 1 less than 5 condition true then that will go inside print uh, n leave 9 i value so i will print 1 again that will go and increase so i value is now 1 1 plus or 2 so uh, I become 3. Check the condition. Uh, 3 less than equal to 5. That's so uh, true. Then that will go inside. In new line, that will print i value. So i value is now 3. Uh, again, that will increase the value of i. So i value is now 3. 3 plus 2. i value is now 3. 3 plus 2, 5. Check the condition. 5 less than uh, equal to 5. That's true. Then that will go inside. Print in new line, i value. So i value is now 5, that will print. So i value is 5 now, uh, that will increase 5 
or plus 2 7 so i become 7 7 check the condition 7 less than equal to 5 so that's not true then that will not go inside so control come to get ch function that will take one input from the keyword and after that that will terminate output screen Next, I am going to discuss about to print to even number. So, I have to change even and uh, all these things are uh, same. I have to I start i equal to 2. So, i start from 2 and i plus equal to 2. So, i plus equal to 2. Well, that means i equal to i plus 2. Uh, so i value is now uh, 2 first one i am giving n value 5 so at your uh, i value is now 2 so that will check the condition or uh, 2 less than equal to 5 that's true then that will go inside print the value of i so i value is now 2 so that will print 2 again that will go up and increase the value of i so i is not 2 i so at here uh, i is 2 and 2 plus 2 4 so i become 4 check the condition for less than equal to 5 that's true then that will go inside printer or uh, the value of i so i value is not 2 plus 2 4 again that will go inside uh, go and increase the value of i so i v is now 4 and uh, 4 plus 2 uh, i become 6 or check the condition 6 less than equal to 5 that's not true then that will go out of order so I tell you what we have 2 for that will print and that will take one input from the keyword and after that that will terminate the output screen so I hope guys you understand to display all and even number in C language so thanks for watching or leave your comment about this video thank you again